Liam Mortis here with Monomoy Girl coming back. Monomoy Girl is back running in the Bayou Cola, grade three, Phillies and Mares, going a mile 16th on the dirt at Oak Lawn. Monomoy Girl, six year old champ, after going undefeated 4 4 last year, won the Breeders' Cup distaff. Monomoy Girl is a true American champion. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Monomoy Girl. Horse racing always needs a hero, and she's sure stepping up for that, in my opinion. Big chestnut, white star on her face, Kentucky bred, out of Tapazar. Tapazar yourself won the 2012 British Cup, uh, 2012 Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. Tapazar was one tough horse to sell. Monomoy Girl has some humble starters, hum or somewhat humble beginnings. I think she sold for like a thousand at the Keeneland sale as a yearling. I meant a hundred thousand. On her first race at Indiana Grand Race Course, broke her maiden. She actually has came in first 14 out of 15 times. Back in, um, she lost in the Golden Rod. That was at Churchill by neck. I think she was a two-year-old, maybe. I really can't remember. The only race she didn't cross the finish line first was a race, I think it was at Parks, when disqualified. She won the race and was disqualified. The one race she did lose was just by half of a nose. On Steve Asmussen has a couple pretty good horses in here. I don't think they can hang with Monomoy Girl, but Steve Asmussen thinks so. He's got another broad... And Finite, Finite was fourth in a grade one, and another broad ran third in a grade three. And then there's another horse, Instant Council, who might get in. No Parole, maybe. There's a few others. But with Monomoy growing here, I seriously doubt if it'll be a big field. That's the Bayacoa, grade three, Phillies and Mares, mile 16th, starring Monomoy Girl next to. Next Monday at Oak Lawn. I know they As always, Brad Cox training Monomoy Girl. I think nobody would be a match for Monomoy Girl. I think she's a true champion. Well, good luck, everybody.